Yay, it's been one year since my channel was made. Isn't that crazy? That is that is so crazy. Wow, I'm fucking fucking kidding me. I mean, wow, I mean I, I should go check out some of my old videos, you know, see what I was doing, so um Huh, a character tier list. You know, um it would be fun to see um what I did in that video, you know, it's been a while since uh, that video came out, so yeah. Well, it would be fun to see if my opinions have changed. Hello guys. I haven't had a good day today. I, this video is probably not gonna come today. I have tried to make so many different type of videos like Rocket League, but I just couldn't make it in time. And so I decided to make a hazardous uh, character list. So we're clear, I have already done this, but my microphone isn't, um, was muted. Um, alright, um, hello guys, um, I made this video, um, I wanted to basically do this again. I don't know, I think the tier list needs an update, and also, you know, I thought that my voice was really bad, so, you know, I, I wanted to, uh, change that, but it could still be better on this one. Honestly, and it probably will, you know. Anyways, um, maybe I should have done this a little bit. Like I should have waited, like maybe should have waited, like maybe like a month or two, because by the time I'm recording this, we only have the first part of episode seven. So you know, there could be some pretty big uh, changes. Also, I'm not gonna include any um, as one of the characters because I feel like it's not fair to put a pilot against almost the full season. So yeah. But anyways, let's just start with this. Um, the first character that we're gonna start with is this, um, obviously he's gonna be next here. His position hasn't changed at all and I would probably move him to an SS plus. His character is amazing, like, the amount of lore and background that we have of him now is, is insane and I don't know, I just feel that I mean, he's better than a lot of main characters in other series. That's what's really impressive to me. You know, his relationship with Solids is really believable and yeah, he's gonna stay there. Octavia, she's gonna move down to a B tier. My reasoning is because, you know, when I first did the video back, it was only like episode 2, right? And at the time I was like, well, she has so much potential to be one of the best characters in the series. And Blah, blah blah but like that was like her, her only episode and we barely saw anything of her in this um, season so I feel like a lot of characters have just moved up and she hasn't gotten any development. Moving on we have Luna and Luna's gonna be B tier. Episode 3 really helped her be a little bit more fleshed out and that was nice and everything but I don't know I, I wish we got more of, of Luna she um she, she, she definitely has potential but unfortunately we didn't get much um yeah she's gonna stay here but next we got Millie and Millie is in is a immediate D tier quite a massive change from where I put her it's really because she doesn't have any character development or she doesn't have any character really he is just there and has no purpose. I don't know, she's just boring and is constantly, you know, getting left out of episodes. Talking about getting left out of episodes, uh, next character we have is uh, this bear trap. This bear trap is gonna be a C tier. The reason why this bear trap is a C tier is because it um, munched on uh, Millie's feet. It will be relevant for the rest of episode 4. So, yeah, and that's why the bear trap is a C tier. It really helped her um, become a better character and everything. So yeah, her trip is gonna be a TV. It really helped Millie, you know, just be in the episode and give her some sort of spotlight. Next, we got Stalix. Stalix is an easy S tier. His relationship with Blitzo is really believable and it's really nice. Love it. So yeah, he's gonna be in this tier. Next, we got a robotic Pizzarelli. He is obviously an S tier, you know, he's the one who I got my design from. And that's basically the reason why he's this tier because he, his design is just incredible. That's literally it. Actually, because of that, I'm just gonna move. Uh, I don't have much else to say. And he's he is actually gonna be an S tier. I think he has a weaker character design than, than the robot version of him. But don't think I really like about this guy is that you know he's got a little like he got something on his arms that I prefer over the the robotic one. Yeah, I mean this guy's just a more extreme version of this dude. So yeah, um, this dude he's gonna be a D tier, 
I don't even remember his name, but I don't like him. I don't like his voice. I mean, we've only seen him for barely any any time, so I think he deserves that spot. Next, we got the woman from episode one. Once again, I, uh, D tier. I don't have anything to say. Her husband cheated on her, but yeah. Um, next one. Not a coincidence, both of their husbands cheated on someone, you know what? And because of that, I'm gonna make a tier just for them, alright? But yeah, I mean, I got nothing else to say about her. She just... I mean, the scene in episode 4, I think, where he was the one who hired him. This guy? That was pretty funny. So, Moxie is an S tier. He has developed quite a lot. I think his design is much better than Blitzel's. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I have it at the top. Yeah, I think. Actually, I don't know if I want to give him the top. He's gonna stay bottom. Ah! <laughs> he is um, in a lot of the spotlight in this season, and he really developed this tier. Is um, B tier? Mm, no. Actually, yeah, no, I'll keep her in S tier. Uh, Bibsy Pop always her, so that immediate, immediately makes her an S tier. Um, and there's no argument against that. But yeah, she's gonna say an S tier. Cherubs or, or D tier? Cherubs of D tier because honestly, who gives a fuck about them that episode? It's horrible. Moving on, we got this key is D tier. I really like his design, and that's basically it. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a badass, but um, we don't know much about him, so yeah, he's gonna stay in B tier just because of his design and how much of a badass he is. Human Luna is below Wolf Luna because um, I'm a furry. Moving on, we got the shark from episode 4, arguably the best joke in the whole series, gives him the privilege of being in C tier. The agents, and I just put them here because they're literally like the only characters that matter in episode 6, but they're not really that special. That joke that they made about this guy's mom was pretty funny, so just because of that I'm gonna put him at C tier, just below the shark. Next, the Parasica Mayday, she is... Um, gonna be above the cherubs. I mean, whatever. Who cares about her? Nobody cares about her. She's just nobody cares about her. Moving on. Sally May, Sally. May, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, you know, we got some pretty jokes on episode four. But yeah, that joke that she made about monkey dying, pretty funny. So yeah, bumped her up to just below these guys because joke how much I laughed. I laughed at least on her, then I laughed in the middle, and then. This is the one that I left the most in the whole series, so yeah. Use, I don't know, a mini joke tier list or something. Then we got the mom from episode 1. She's an A tier. Then we got this wolf dude. He is C tier, I guess. Actually, no, I can't do that. Millie's a little bit better than him. I'm gonna put him here. Alright, and then these two guys are in the... These two guys are in the episode 4 rank, I guess. And that's it. Um, I think I'm satisfied with this, um, fearless looks. Um, anyways, um, um <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this, um, update of the tier list I did basically a year ago. Um, I guess I'll talk about what I'll be posting, but I'll be posting some, some Paladins videos, like two of them, and then I'll, after that I'll start working on my Dark Souls series that you know, I, I have a lot of content on that, like, bro, that, that series is, like, super old. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do those things for, yes, a year because, you know, it takes me, like, five months to make a video. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just do whatever I want. Talk about Hello Boss, I guess. That's it.